Bless up. I go by the name of DJ Khaled, and we about to go over some pics behind my Instagram vibe. You know what I'm saying? So check it out. There's a picture of me in the 90s in my apartment in Miami, and if you see uh, my drum machine, MPC 60, I got some flyers from parties on the wall. This is a, a picture of me really hungry, fighting for my goals, my dreams to come true. This is like the early stages of DJ Khaled. I mean, I'll never forget this picture, you know what I'm saying? I'll never forget this room. This is what you call focus and having a vision. Look where I'm at now, and I, and I feel like I'm just getting started. This is started from the bottom, started. This is me on my jet ski, probably going about 100 miles per hour. I was jet skiing in Diddy's house, and I was trying to do the shortcut, going through um, this canal, and there was a tree stuck in the water. So I went kind of around it and over it, and then my jet ski got stuck. So I jumped in the water. When I jumped in the water, just like I thought, I scraped my leg, I cut my leg open. I got a Diddy's house, jumped out off the jet ski, went in his pool, and then um, realized I was cut. But the whole mission about that was I didn't give up. I accomplished my goal, and God is great. This is a picture of me and Drake. You know, I never told nobody this, but Drake was playing me God's plan right here on this phone. We was listening to God's plan before he even came out, and that's my brother. He supports me, I support him. He's a great friend, he's a great artist, he's incredible, and the caption says, 2018 secured, and it's secured. Collaborating with Drake is incredible. How he he records the ideas, the melodies, the raps, the lyrics. For our generation, he's one of the greatest. Big fan of Drake and us family. That's my brother, Drake Keep Winning. Basically, this picture right here describes the beginning of season one. We was on our way to set. Me, Megan, and Diddy were on a golf cart catching a vibe, feeling real good, got our nice outfits on, ready to uh, win more, you know what I'm saying? Me and J-Lo just did a song together, um, J-Lo's single is called De Niro, featuring me and Cardi B. So this is like before the song came out when we was in the studio working on the record, and I was just really thanking her for letting me be a part of her song and thinking about me, who isn't a fan of J-Lo, so I was like pinching myself, like, you know, that's J-Lo I'm in the studio with. Just like I said, don't burn bridges. Only God can walk on water. We should never burn bridges, keep our relationships good. Even if you disagree on something, stay positive as a person. Don't burn no bridges because at the end of the day, is you might be crossing that bridge again. This picture, I really love it. It's me and my family, me, my son, my biggest blessing, and my beautiful queen that I love so much. Spending time with my family on vacation was so amazing. We're about to plan our next vacation real soon, too. We want to do as much as possible. I believe in enjoying life and living life to its fullest. This picture is legendary. This is me and Quincy Jones playing him some new music off my album, just having cloth talk. And just to hear his great stories, you know, I'm inspired by Quincy Jones and what he's accomplished and what he's done and what doors he's opened up for all of us. Opportunities he's given people are so incredible, too, man. So. Shout out to Quincy Jones. This picture right here was on the set of the four, and when we took this picture, I put the four up, I just knew that not only was the season gonna be incredible, the show was incredible, I just felt a certain energy, and now we're on season two. Um, when I post on my Instagram or any of my socials, it's always gonna be motivational and inspirational. If it's from me and my son and my, my family, or it's me celebrating hard work. At the end of the day, all of it, is love, motivational, inspirational use only.